Jose Mourinho has a very specific and entrenched way of playing when his sides travel to face the Premier League's top clubs. They, in his own language, park the bus, but although his Manchester United side came away from Anfield with a point on Saturday, it was not the usual, defence-first, stifle at all costs performance that Mourinho usually implements, even if others may suggest otherwise. Jose Mourinho is an extremely pragmatic man. He is realistic with his team, though, privately, always hopeful, he understands their shortcomings, and he is not afraid to manage with an extremely practical and applicable element, always ensuring that he exploits the strengths of his side while shielding the weaknesses. When it comes to playing the other top teams in the Premier League, such a philosophy drives Mourinho into a defensive shell. He does not want an open, space-abundant game. Instead, he demands his team remain tight and disciplined, maintaining their shape and structure, suffocating any space the opposition may try to work in their own defensive third. The Portuguese manager is more than happy to settle for a point, though an occasional nicked goal would not be unwelcome. That is the strategy that he tried to employ against Liverpool on Saturday. And it makes sense. Jurgen Klopp's side is bursting with pace and panache. They are blistering on the counter, vicious in the running with the ball. They have the ability to carve open defences with fluid, dynamic movement, and quick, sharp passing. They play at an intensity and tempo that is difficult to match, searing their way through teams who are often caught unawares. That is what Mourinho was afraid of it is why he chose to adopt the park-the-bus approach. He always does against the best teams. Neil Custis of The Sun and James Ducker of The Daily Telegraph, speaking on the Sunday supplement, both praised Mourinho for the way his side was set up prevent Liverpool from forming those sweeping, fast-paced attacks, contract the midfield, and defend the width of the penalty area stoutly. However, that is not what occurred. Yes, Liverpool may have failed to score, and yes, United may well be returning to Old Trafford with a point in their back pocket and praise ringing in their ears, but a quick look at some simple stats tells a very different story. Liverpool had 19 shots. This season, they have averaged 19.5 per game, so they had around as many shots against United as they have averaged against the likes of Burnley and Newcastle. Moreover, in their 40 demolition of Arsenal earlier this season, they produced 18 shots, only one less than against United, and yet scored four goals. United, similarly, have conceded 10.1 shots per game this campaign, almost half of what they allowed Liverpool on Saturday. Moreover, 33.95% of the game was played in United's defensive third. Liverpool created 17 chances, forcing David De Gea into six saves, including one outstretched foot to deny Joe Matip which was truly remarkable. Mourinho may well have attempted to play with his usual suffocating style, it did not work. United will be happy with the point, and, ultimately, that is all that matters. But if they continue to play like they did on Saturday, inviting pressure, lacking an attacking outlet, and being dominated in midfield, then the Red Devils will struggle to pick up points on the road against the remaining top six sides. The draw at Anfield was undeserved and must now serve as a warning for Jose Mourinho.